We're being real, aren't we, Holly? I don't like it. Let's be fake. No, <laughs> let's be real. Hi, everyone. Hi. Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year. We are going to talk today about things that we want to change, like our goals and stuff like that, some habits that we're trying to implement. A bunch of just random stuff. We're thinking of like doing this really organized, have this set layout like you see behind us here. Look at this. This was the original plan, just listing things out. It's just not as us. And no. this year, I think we're trying to film more like right. us. So there's our first goal of 2024. Yeah. In past years, we've been like, we want to stop this. We want to stop that. You know, whatever it was, lose weight, exercise more. It mm. was all chore list, not much fun. This year, we're going to add more things into our lives yeah. versus focusing on taking things away. So instead of eat less junk food, we're going to just try and make an effort to have more fruits and vegetables. And hopefully that will snowball into doing what we want it to do anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's a more positive spin. I mean, like oh i can eat an extra vegetable but i still want my mcdonald's like you're not punishing yourself for wanting to grow sorry can you hold this my arm is killing me already it's only been 30 seconds oh uh, thanks wow okay um add more arm strength yes I, that's in there <laughs> if you guys remember the monthly challenge we did a couple of years back we were super strict on that and like having to follow things to an exact and we tried key. to do 20 things all at once and we did it yeah but Mixed and results. what happened was like once we stopped it like everything flew back like mm -hmm. an elastic band we didn't change at all in the moment we did but it wasn't something we could Sustain. actually sustain long term. We've got some trips coming up in the new year. We're doing a mini honeymoon in Aruba very soon, in a week's time actually from when we're filming this. So that's very exciting. We're gonna film a little bit when we're there, but also take some some time to just be newlyweds. Cause I mm -hmm. feel like, honestly, after the wedding, we didn't really get time just us, us. We had like just random shit going on. So we're gonna kind of go around today showing you guys some of the things that we've already started putting into place. If you could smell right now, you would smell a lovely beef stew, <laughs> beef and veggie stew that I have put together. Come on over everyone. <laughs> what do we have here? Well, actually it doesn't look super appetizing yeah, yet. It's, it's not yet. Um, two more hours and nine minutes and we have a stew everyone. <laughs> I love stew. I would name our firstborn stew. If Aww. you'd allow it. We've got beef, potato, onion, carrots. That's about it in there, but mm -hmm. it's delicious. Holly will make like a gravy thing for it tonight. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty healthy compared to the popcorn we've been eating for the last while. It'll last us a long time and we can freeze it afterwards too. So. Yeah, this will last us for like a month. Good, Good job, day. baby. Thank you. Thanks for making it. No problem. Mm. No. I'm doing this. No. no, look, we came in here to show you our made bed. We're being real, aren't we, Holly? I don't like it. Let's be fake. No, <laughs> let's be real. The point is, we made the bed today. We made it first thing this morning, and um, that was something we both used to do all the time, but recently just hadn't been, so uh, it looks great. We changed this right after we got married. Yeah, this is kind of the vibe. Hope you guys like it. It is annoying to remove six pillows just to sleep. However, aesthetic. <laughs> It looks great, and yeah, I hope you appreciate that authenticity of the slight mess. But with mess comes beauty, and more beauty. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and more mess. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, usually I clean this up. This yeah, hurts again. me, it hurts my soul. A little messy, a little messy, but a little beauty. Lots of beauty. Hold Did on, you get my curve? Girl, they get themselves. 2024 goal is to work on that as well. <laughs> I'll get better. You wait. <laughs> what are you working on? The curves or the boobs? Well, <laughs> the whole thing. So we just went to Indigo yesterday mm -hmm. and picked up some new journals. This one here is Holly's. This is the bullet journal. Mine is a productivity planner. These are new. We haven't filled these out yet or done really anything with them. This mm -hmm. one I got from the dollar store a while ago. The lines aren't even straight, but I'm like, I didn't have this yet. Yeah. I'm too intimidated to start it because it's so gorgeous and perfect. And I'm trying to work on the perfection of this. But I'll show you a little bit. So um, I'm trying to find it. That's the page. Hold on. Okay. This was my go at trying to be a little artsy. You did such a great so, job. So I've got like my habit trackers here. I'm tracking my sleep. It's all over the place. Love that for me. Highlight of the day, You're which so I do at the end of the day. And then mm -hmm. this is kind of the spread. So this is bullet journaling, actually. This um, is a sexy page. Yeah, you get to do however spreads you want like so I did one week here another week there some people do a one week spread over two Damn. pages 
I would do this a lot better for what I actually need to use a journal for. Mm -hmm. I can't fit my life into these tiny boxes, even though it is so... That's sexy. Speaking of what I will use a bullet journal for, I also want to touch base on what a bullet journal can do for you. Setting up your pages is a practice of mindfulness just as much as the productivity of the journal itself. When I'm working on my journal, I like to block out all the noise and just focus on the task at hand. And there's only one way I know how to do that and that's using my Raycons. Raycons are wireless earbuds with quality audio. Not to mention, they're half the price of other premium audio brands. They give you eight hours of playtime, and with 32 hours of battery life total, I can focus on whatever it is I'm doing, from working out, to going on a walk, to journaling. You can use the earbud touch functions to toggle between customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness modes so you never miss a beat. Unlike other brands, they come in a wide variety of colors. Hell, I could even match my journal. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com forward slash Paige and Holly to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Plus free shipping. Thanks Raycon. Now back to the video. I want you to tell them, I know you've been kind of reflecting a lot on productivity. Yes. Okay, wait, hold this because okay, this on. is serious. Hello. Well, hi there. Welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> Here I am with my productivity planner, okay? Mm -hmm. And I think if you'd asked me like two years ago what productivity was and what I thought productivity was, the definition of that word has changed drastically for me. Two years ago, I would have said productivity is basically just how much work I can get done in a day. Like how much can I grind and <laughs> how much words can I write down on a piece of paper and how many miles can I run and all this shit, okay? Mm -hmm. It's really important for any of you who are in that like grind mentality or like are seeing that all over social media and online to know that that is not normal or healthy to just continually do all the time. You have to think of productivity in different ways. So yes, you've got work and career aspirations and things that you want to do for yourself, but you should be taking time to focus on things like happiness and your well-being and your health outside of how much output you can do. Proper sleep, getting proper nutrients, vitamins, going for walks to clear your head, your mental health just as important mm -hmm. as the work that you're putting out, if not more important than the work that you're putting out. So productivity has so much more than just what productivity has been known for. In the past few months, I've realized that I could get any amount of work done, but if I'm not happy, what the hell was the point of that? That's just something I hope you guys will consider or at least think about. Prioritize yourself, not just what you can do with yourself. Okay. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thanks. Really well said. I ended on a bit of a blow. No, you but... didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. Show them maybe the inside okay. because if people are wanting to come around, yeah. show them why you picked this one and, and what you kind of like about it. Well, something I liked about this one, this kind of translates everything I said into a book. They do it in a more concise way. So first of all, it starts off with typical productivity, which is like, what is the important task of the day? Make sure you get it done and your target versus your actual. And you've got a habit tracker, kind of like what Holly was talking about. So my plan is to write habits not just for work, but for health and mm -hmm. well-being. So that will be like getting my eight hours of sleep, taking time off my screen at night before bed, reduce caffeine a little bit because I find I'm quite antsy and anxious. So that's in my list as well. And it also... I'm going to do this because you're going to be really uh -oh. watching it back. Thank you. She wears Always. it so tight right to her neck. I feel like I'm choking her. Stop that. This is kind of what I was talking about with the other parts of productivity. At the end of each day, you say, I am grateful for blank. My intention of the day is blank. And you've got your tasks in there as well. But then you're talking about the highlights of the day. What did I learn today? What do I want to remember from today? And then you've got your mood tracker there. All of these combined are what make you productive and what I believe can lead to happiness. You need to incorporate all of them into being the best version of you. You I have to put that. the whole puzzle together. I'm so yeah. proud of you because I know that took a lot to unlearn and relearn. Yeah. I'm really proud of you. Thank and you. I can't wait for you to get started on your yeah, book. Me too. Good job, baby. Thanks, honey. You too. Okay, what do we have here? Hi loves, um, you might be wondering why our three-piece couch is completely dissected. Oh yeah. It's because um, we moved it for uh, filming 
uh, design that we're no longer, <laughs> we're no longer using. So, no. Alas, but I can be here and show you our habit tracker. Like Paige was saying at the beginning, we're trying to film more our style. Mm -hmm. And because we've shoved that down for so long because of our own insecurities and fear, anytime we turn the camera on now, we're kind of like, hey, guys, how's it going? And it's not natural anymore. So to improve that, we are going to track our habits each day. We're going to try and vlog on our own and post an Instagram story. Mm -hmm. We used to post an Instagram story like all day long and yeah. it felt like it was a much better insight into what was going on. And it's something that we miss. And we're like, let's just get rid of the pressure and just do it every day. And then that way, if it sucks, if it's great, whatever, let's just get back into the rhythm. And we're competitive with each other. Yes. So like if Paige vlogs, we're like, well, I'm not falling behind. I don't <laughs> but the big thing with habit trackers is that they're not supposed to incite any kind of guilt or shame. It's merely to track a habit to see how often you're doing it. And then if you want to make changes, that's okay. But it shouldn't be used to be like, oh my God, I only did it half the month. Don't do that. No. Okay, so that's kind of some of the things that we're working on. We've also got pickleball tonight, which has been keeping us very, very busy. And it's something that we get to do together, which is really nice. Yeah, we do be obsessed with it. We've got some footage. We'll be playing some of that throughout, <laughs> but that's kind of the routine that's going on right now. I mean, we know we're gonna have moments where like we don't follow everything and that's okay as long as we're able to bounce back. I think that's what's the most important. What we do after we okay. maybe break a habit. Paige keeps saying progress, not perfection. And I love that. So that's what we're striving for. You can expect some vlogs from Aruba. We're going on our honeymoon tomorrow when we're filming this. Got a couple of other videos in the works, so stay tuned. But otherwise, look after yourselves. Good luck with your New Year's routines if you've got any. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.